Education first, not medical advice. These compounds carry real risks. Do not self-prescribe. Work with a clinician who knows your history, labs, and follow-up. Up front, rapamycin can cause mouth ulcers, lipid elevations, delayed wound healing, and dose-dependent infection risk. Discuss surgery and vaccination timing. Metformin may upset the gut and deplete B12 over time. N80 plus boosters can disrupt sleep or cause flushing. Quality and regulation vary by region. Let's ask the real question. Are these drugs shifting aging biology in people like you, or are they just expensive shortcuts? Today you'll get a calm, direct breakdown and a practical, measurable plan to decide with your clinician. First, the one-minute map. When nutrients are abundant, mTOR says build, dial it down, and cells prioritize repair, autophagy, and stress defenses. Rapamycin directly inhibits mTORP1. Metformin nudges metabolism, often activating AMPK and improving insulin sensitivity. N80 plus boosters refill a cofactor that powers mitochondrial energy and DNA repair enzymes. It's three levers. 1A, allocate more time to maintenance, not just growth. Rapamycin what's known. In multiple animal studies, inhibiting mTOR extends lifespan, even when started late. In some trials with older adults, low-dose TORC1 inhibition improved influenza vaccine responses and reduced reported infections, though results depend on endpoints. Translation. The pathway matters in mammals, and human immune function signals are promising, but using rapamycin for longevity remains off-label and benefits in healthy people are not proven. Metformin, what's known? Decades of use for type 2 diabetes, inexpensive and widely studied. Mechanistically, it reduces liver glucose output and improves insulin sensitivity, combating a major friction of aging. Observational findings sometimes show equal or better survival versus matched non-diabetics, but causality is uncertain. Outside insulin resistance or prediabetes, benefits for lifespan or heart outcomes remain unproven. If used, monitor B12 and kidney function with your clinician. Plus boosters, what's known? NA plus declines with age. Precursors like NR or NMN reliably raise circulating anus and in some studies even increase it in brain. Yet long-term functional outcomes such as strength, cognition, or disease risk remain mixed in healthy adults. Side effects are usually mild, but product quality varies and regulatory status, including for NMN, is evolving by jurisdiction. Treat these as structured experiments, not forever pills. Mid-episode rehook, 12 seconds. If you are insulin resistant, talk metformin. If you face frequent infections or inflammaging with good wound healing status, ask about supervised, intermittent mTOR inhibition. If you have late-day fatigue with otherwise solid labs, consider a monitored NAD Plus trial. Profile tool measurable outcome, no outcome, exit. Now, plain language pros and cons you can remember. Rapamycin, pros, targets a central pathway, robust animal longevity data, older adult immune signals suggest better resilience. Cons, mouth ulcers, lipid increases, impaired wound healing, infection risk, off-label for longevity, no definitive healthy human outcomes. Verdict, possible tool for specific profiles under medical supervision, not a universal youth pill. Metformin, pros, huge clinical experience, inexpensive, tackles insulin resistance that accelerates aging. Cons, GI side effects, B12 depletion, anti-aging benefits in lean insulin sensitive people are unclear. Verdict, compelling in prediabetes or insulin resistance, otherwise, evidence is thinner. NAD plus boosters, pros, raise NAD plus reliably, plausible support for mitochondrial function. Cons, mixed outcome data, product variability, ongoing regulatory questions, cost. Verdict, reasonable time box trial with goals and labs, avoid set and forget. Action plan, built for real decisions. Step one, foundations for four weeks. Sleep seven to nine hours. Strength train twice weekly. Add three to four steady aerobic sessions. Hit roughly 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of lean mass, plus 25 to 40 grams of fiber daily. Limit alcohol. Walk eight to 10,000 steps. Track morning resting heart rate and a simple vitality score. Energy, focus, mood from one to five. If these aren't steady, drugs won't carry you. Step two, baselines with your clinician. Ask for fasting glucose, A1C, fasting insulin or home IR, lipid panel, complete blood count, comprehensive metabolic panel, EGFR, high sensitivity CRP, and B12. Considering rapamycin, add ferritin, and discuss surgical timing and wound healing risk. Considering NAD plus boosters, include liver enzymes and uric acid. Record grip strength and a six minute walk distance. Step three, match profile to candidate. Prediabetes or insulin resistance, discuss metformin first. Frequent infections or inflammaging with good healing. Ask about cautious intermittent mTOR inhibition. Fatigue with late day dips despite good labs. Consider an NAD plus trial with modest expectations. Step four, design a time box trial with stop rules. Choose one primary objective outcome. A1C down by at least 0.3, six minute walk up 30 meters, or LDL particle profile improved per your clinician. 
Choose objective secondaries, HSCRP, triglycerides, or resting heart rate. Choose subjective tertiary, vitality score. Set a horizon of 8 to 12 weeks, a budget cap, and clear stop triggers, mouth ulcers, insomnia, abnormal labs, or any warning your clinician flags. Step 5. Monitor monthly. Repeat the core metrics, note side effects, and keep training, diet, and sleep stable so you can attribute changes. Adjust only one variable at a time. Step 6. Decide like an investor. If benefits are clear and costs are low, extend with your clinician's oversight. If results are muddy, exit and double down on foundations. Aging is a marathon. Compounding beats gambles. Quick lightning round. Can you stack these? Only with a clinician. Interactions and risks are real, and synergy is unproven. What about dosing? This channel never gives dosing. Who should avoid experiments? Pregnancy, planned pregnancy, active infection, upcoming surgery, uncontrolled chronic disease, or abnormal baseline labs. What should you watch daily? Energy stability, sleep quality, training performance, appetite, mood, and any new symptoms. Log them so trends are visible. Final perspective. Celebrity protocols make headlines. Your biology needs measurement. Use these tools if at all, as careful layers on top of strong daily practices. Measure, review, and decide with a professional. The truth about anti-aging drugs is simple. They are promising levers, not magic wands. If this clarified the hype, subscribe for calm, evidence-first longevity breakdowns and comment which protocol you want decoded next.